So after three days fishing and generally hanging out and spending time with a, a small group of builder friends, I have to say that I'm incredibly thankful that the, um, the internet, the Instagram, YouTube, uh, has encouraged people to share in a positive fashion and uh, our ability to connect. So uh, you'll see everybody in this video. There's uh, Will King with High Cotton Homes and he's out of Alabama. There is um, Jamie Herndon of Herndon Construction from Georgia. There's Jackson Andrews with Jackson Andrews Design Build in Virginia Beach and Steve Basic in Boston, Massachusetts. Like you couldn't ask for a more diverse group of guys to be able to sit around for three days and talk about how they do business. And we had one conversation that we're gonna capture in this video that uh, I thought it was really interesting that uh, we kinda had the same advice for uh, new builders. So let me introduce you to those guys and let you uh, hear what they have to say advice for new builders. One thing I wish I knew my first year starting my company was the importance of the interview process. And just like a client or an architect interviews us as the builder, um, to, to go into those meetings not just seeing it as a one-way interview where I'm being interviewed, but also looking at it, this is my chance to interview the client or the architect and really evaluate what that relationship is going to look like during the build and see if it's going to be a good fit for my end as well. So there's one thing I wish somebody would have told me in my first year of business was the importance of a really good contract, a really good attorney, and how to get subcontract agreements in place. I would encourage anybody to go to the local home builder association, go to other builders in your area that you trust, and start with a contract from them. You can always add on to and edit it, uh, but it's very, very important that you start with a good contract. I'd also encourage you to, to find a good attorney. Um, you know, everybody says, hey, this attorney or that attorney has a good reputation, but you need to find the one who handles construction law. That's very, very important because if you, if you don't, then when you actually find yourself in a situation where you need them, they're having to learn the process along with you, and that's not what you need at all. The subcontract agreements is something that if you need to have it in place to have your subs list your, your business as a um, listed insured or additional insured on their policy, and then also have that subcontract agreement that discusses the liability in the event that something goes wrong. But those three things are so important when you start your business, and I feel like 90% of people often overlook it. Hey y'all, I'm Jamie Herndon with Herndon Construction. We're a custom home builder in Columbus, Georgia. One piece of advice I wish somebody would have told me when I started my business was that you need to stay in your lane. Do something that you're comfortable, but become a professional at that and grow from there. Don't do anything and everything just to try and make money or keep other clients happy. Stay in your lane, become professional, and grow. Good morning. Steve Basic, architect here. I'm an architect that lives about 10 miles north of Boston. I primarily work up in the northeast, but I do do projects all over the country. And if you asked me what was the one thing that I think would have been the most important thing to learn early on, I would say I wish somebody sat down and really told me what my job was. And we go to school and be an architect or we become a builder or a plumber or electrician. But the reality of our jobs is that we manage expectations. People come to us with a certain budget, they want a certain project, and we promise to deliver it. And it's our job as professionals to kind of knit that quilt together. And one of the things that I think is really important about managing expectations, and probably the best advice that I can give a young builder or young architect is, don't make any promises on the fly. Take the time to think about it. When somebody asks, how much do you think that'll cost? Or how long do you think that'll take? You give them a simple answer of, well, let me go take a look at that, work it out, and uh, I can get back to you in a couple hours or early this afternoon. You just don't drop a promise right there on the spot. Because the reality is, is you're going to drive away and you're going to think about all the things that you didn't think about in those 10 seconds that are going to complicate the issue. And then you're not going to be able to come clean on that promise. And then you're going to fail to manage those expectations. So slow down, take your time, run the project like a professional, and don't have the tail wagging the dog. Be in charge of the project and set those procedures straight right from the start. 